with, um, on, on Patrick's, how did you guys uh, start to have this um, uh, change? Uh, you mentioned fourth generation, and is that like something that inspire? And when you started, are there any challenges in particular you're seeing? Uh, do you need to win some debates, or you're getting all sort of support? And how do you overcome, if mm. any? Um, great question. So I think you know most Hong Kong families, um, you know the major portfolio is real estate, and real estate is not really the most green um, uh, industry. Um, and I took over the business once my, my, my father passed away uh, like five years ago. And we did a major reboot of thinking of what we want. And one of the major issues that like, I think we've highlighted in the last year or two is Hong Kong is a very slow place to adopt the green policy. Obviously, you know, um, Chelney in, you know, and yourself in the multinational platform is, is slightly different. But in terms of green, um, environment, climate, all this kind of you know, big global issues. I think Hong Kong as a society, um, you know, we're kind-hearted and we want to care, but we're mm -hmm. still very far behind mm -hmm. our Western counterparts. So what we do need, I think, is um, the government support organizations such as HKTDC and AFF and, you know, PWC to help to uh, educate the young people especially. Um, obviously, you know, people in my father's generation, the way they think is very different to the millennials now. Mm. So millennials will definitely take this to heart more than the Absolutely. older generation. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm generalizing. So um, this is affecting the whole way of how, not just family offices, but companies in the way they talk about um, succession planning. Um, how does it affect our long-term planning in terms of what kind of industries or how does it affect the percentage of our portfolio of what asset classes? So that's an important thing to discuss and talk about from internally our side. Um, so education, I think, is key. And I think it needs to, and obviously everyone knows how great the problem is. You know, temperatures rising, carbon is, uh, we're not going to go into that today. But it needs a combination of both the government, uh, the public sector, the private sector, the schooling, the education. Mm -hmm and actually people taking action and not just, oh, it's great, it's just mm -hmm. buzzwords, right? Mm. And um, we haven't gone to such an extreme of some family offices where their 100% is only, only social impact or only climate or only green. We're trying our best to take baby steps to try and get there. Uh, but at the same time, the business has to be sustainable because I think for SME companies, mm. it's very difficult to say, oh, we're going to be green, but it's okay not to be making money because we all still have to have to eat, right? Um, so from the family office um, standpoint is we're improving year by year to try, to try and do as much as we can to um, help with um, combating the, the global problem.